Um, and I think related to that is retention, right? Because you're hiring these people, you're recruiting them, you're putting all the time and the effort into that. But you want to make sure that once you hire them, they're not going to walk out the door, you know, three months later, six months later. And yep. of course, that's going to happen. But how do you kind of see retention in company culture? Because you had mentioned, you know, you worked at Google, which obviously the Silicon Valley um, firms are famous for like their culture and how they kind of changed that, you know, in the last 10 to 15 years. What does that look like for your business? Um, I know that Melanie, who you mentioned, her her title is like director of people operations, right? Yeah. You had said that, which I think is a really interesting title to kind of prove what's important in the company. But yeah, how do you see culture at ADM and and for agencies in general? How do, how does that kind of tie into retention? Well, I love that you you brought up her title and you also mentioned Google in in that question. Excuse me. <clears throat> and um, I rip I ripped that title off of Google. So Google's <laughs> HR is called okay. People Ops or People Operations. Uh, and, and one one area of my job that I loved, it actually wasn't part of my core role, but something that I got asked to do was join the culture team when I was at Google. And, and I ended up running this culture team with uh, three other women. And, you know, we, we were the head of the culture team for 150 people. And we, I think we had like a $50,000 budget. So we would, you know, we'd go around with a drink cart. We mm-hmm. would buy gear for, you know, the 150 people, you know, company swag. And, um, excuse me. <clears throat> And we would also we would also put on events. Um, so it, it working at Google teaches you about culture, but sure. being a part of that community and facilitating the community uh, was an incredibly powerful experience for mm. me. You know, one of our values as a company, um, I, I think I built like our mission statement, our values. Probably once I started hiring, I didn't do that prior to, um, for better or for worse. But one of those values is is people. And just simply that, people first. Mm. And, and I think the way that we, our culture in a lot of ways, like revolves around that ideology. If it's just words, it's just words. But the way that we put it into, into a reality is we prioritize our people in terms of where we make our investments. So we have sure. always focused on how do we get better benefits? How do we make this a better place to work? How do we ensure that you have a work-life balance? And how do we ensure, uh, as one of our top priorities, that this is a place for lifelong learning? Not everybody wants that. There's no question. But yeah. we're clear about communicating that in our recruiting process. That if you are someone who wants to better yourself, if you're someone who wants to invest in your career, in your mind, uh, in your life as a professional, then this is the place for you. Yeah. And, and so we, we do that. And, and um, you know, my advisor, I, I, I got to give him credit. He always talks about it's not a goal unless you have budget behind it. <laughs> so you can yeah. talk the talk all you want, but unless you're putting money behind those things, like you're, 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 you're really just all talk. Right. And so we, we prioritize our people in terms of the investments that we make. And then, you know, it's, it's also important that we, we make it a fun place to work. So we started in the last two years hiring people outside Chicago. So we do have... Mm. Uh, a semi-remote workforce. We put budget towards bringing everyone together uh, twice, at least twice a year. We're looking okay. to make that a quarterly uh, schedule next year. We have monthly, some sort of monthly culture event, whether that is sponsoring an individual team to get together and do some sort of wine tasting. Usually it's our whole company getting together. We'll see how long that that makes sense. You know, sure. when you've got 30 people on a Zoom, it gets a little <laughs> complicated. Um, but so I think that, Culture is very important, and there's a lot of ways that you can really build it, and those are some of the ways that we have. 